Hey guys, Jeff Schneider here. Today's video is about the scale that I think is most important to know to get that bebop sound. I think it's more important than the bebop scales. And yes, there are scales called bebop scales, but uh, that's another video and I'll link it up here or down below. Anyway, by the end of this video, I hope that you're able to get that bebop sound that you're after. And you might actually know the scale already, but we're gonna use it in a way that you haven't before. Okay. Here we go. Now it's called the harmonic minor scale, right? You, you might have heard this before, but check this out. Let's use the uh, let's use the key of of C here. So we're gonna play C harmonic minor, and this should be an A flat, right, guys? Okay. So this is C harmonic minor. This is the one, the two, the flat three, the four, the five, the flat six, the major seven, and the one again. And for all you guys who aren't reading notes just yet, I think there's a little thing in here that I can do. Bam, look at that. You can see that now. We got note names, people. Check it out. All right, let's continue on. Here's the C harmonic minor scale. Now, what we're gonna do is play it on a different note. We're gonna start it on a different note, that is. We're gonna start it on G. So it's gonna be technically the fifth mode of the C harmonic minor scale. Um, so that's gonna be G, A flat, ooh, hey, hey, A flat, um, B, go up the octave, man, come on. There we go. Okay. Same set of notes, same exact set of notes, but we are starting on the five. So, you know what I'll even do? This is Sibelius, by the way. This is a, a program for writing out music, obviously. So what I'm gonna do here is actually uh, put in the numbers. So that's the one, the two, the flat three, the four, the five, the flat six, the seven, and then the one again. Now this is the, uh, the scale starting on the fifth. So that's the five. The, uh, the flat six, right? Same as before, seven, one, two, flat three, four, and then you're back at the five. But that is not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. What I actually wanna do ugh, is instead of thinking about this as the five, I wanna think about this as the one. So let's forget C for a second. We're, we'll come back to it, but Let's think of this as a G7 chord, okay? So now we have one, G is one. What's A flat? A flat is the flat nine. B, just the regular old third. C, the four. D is the, um, the five, where's five? E flat is the flat 13 or the flat six, same idea. Flat seven is F, and then one at the top. I don't know what this line is. What the hell is this line doing here? Okay, good, the line's gone now. Okay, one, flat nine, three, four, five, flat 13, flat seven, and one again. Now, why is this scale great? Well, first let's play it, here it is. Now that might not sound too beboppy, but check out this lick. It's gonna use the scale that uh, that you see here on your screen. That's a bebop lick, people. You could do it like this. So I'll write the line out just so you so you have it. Here's the G7 flat nine scale, with a flat 13 even. And here are the same exact notes and when you put it like that, it really does sound like a bebop line. You can do the same thing. You can take these four notes and actually move them down the octave and you get this very similar thing, but it's a nice variation. Alrighty, what the chords are here, again, we have the the G7 flat nine going to a C minor seven, something like that. Nice five going to one. 
Now, here's another thing that you can do. This is the harmonic minor scale, right? Fifth mode of the harmonic minor scale. Oh, by the way, guys, check this out. Let me do the same thing so you can see the notes, note names. There we go. So there, there are the note names. So you can do a screenshot of that if you want. And let's do it over here. Cool. And you know what? Just to, just to take it all the way here, let's go with the uh, let's go with the the lyric tool again, and I'll I'll write in the functions, the scale degrees. So you have the flat seven, the flat thirteen, the five, the four, the three, the flat nine, the one, the flat seven, and then you're landing on the flat three of C minor. Move this guy over. Beautiful. Now look look at this. Look at this. This is this is all coming full circle now. We started on the C minor, right? We started on a C minor here. So we're really not going outside of C minor, but we are thinking of the scale in G. Well, over a G7. It wouldn't make a lot of sense to think of this as five and then flat six, you know, basically carrying these scale degrees over. I, I really suggest kind of reframing this so that G is, is then one. Um, and then when you go back to C minor, you, you can start thinking about E flat as the flat third again. So just to clarify there, when you're thinking in G7, E flat, is the note E flat is the, the flat 13 or the flat six. But when you go to C minor, it's now a flat third because E flat is the third note of the C minor scale. Okay, so that's the harmonic minor scale. Now there's one other thing we can do to add a variation, and that is make this a, a harmonic major scale, which is a, a more unusual scale. A lot of people know the harmonic minor, but not so many the harmonic major. So we're going to do a very similar thing here, but instead of minor, we're going to take out the uh, M there. Now it's major. And you know what you do? You know what you do? You take this E flat, and you make it an E natural. Oops, bam, now I gotta get that note to change. So now it's now it's an E. C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B, and C. Just like a major scale, except we have a flat six here instead of a, a regular six. Oh, and this is not a flat three, this is, this is a regular three. One, two, three, four, five, flat six, seven. Sounds like this. So it's major, but has that ex more exotic note in there. But again, we're not going to be using the scale like this. We're going to we're going to think of it as a G7. So we're going to take the same notes and I'm going to copy and paste cuz it's kind of the same thing except for that one note, right? It's exactly the same. We got the 1, the flat 9, the 3, the 4, the 5. Now, again, this is not an E flat. We're making this an E natural. Now we got the E. This is no longer the flat 13. We're just going to call this regular old 6. Cool. So now we have one flat nine, three, four, five, six, flat seven, and one at the top. It just sounds like a scale when you do it like that, but we can take the same line that we did before, this, this guy up here, and again, we're gonna copy and paste it down, change the E flat to a regular E, be really nice if it did the note name automatically, huh? Make this a six. We're going to C major seven now. No more minor. Now we're in major. So now we're going to C major seven. We've got the E natural, and we're going to make this the third. No flat. Now we're there. This is what it sounds like, guys. Play it again. Or you could do the thing we did, uh, you know, in reverse. Take this part up the octave. Oh, not the whole thing, just the last handful of notes there. Check this out. Or you could do a little approach thing. But this whole flat nine, that flat nine, that's where it comes from. It comes from the harmonic minor scale. Pretty cool, right? 
So see what you guys can come up with with the, the harmonic major and the harmonic minor scale and create some cool bebop lines. I'll do some more examples here. Um, you know, you can just you can follow along with the piano at the bottom of the screen and I'll do it slow and fast so you can hear some some examples. So that time, the first time I did it in, in minor, or maybe I did it in major, but that's minor. Here is major. Beautiful. So guys, this also works for two five ones. You know, let's take a two five one in the key of C. Um, that's a D minor seven, G seven, going to C major seven, and check out this line. It's perfect. You know, the, the chord tones are landing on the downbeats. You've got that, that A flat really gives it that bebop sound. We can even do it the minor version. So that time, all I did was, instead of playing E naturals, I played E flats. Not E natural, E flat. Check it out one more time. That's the harmonic minor scale. So guys, what I want you to do is experiment with the scale, see if you can create some bebop lines, and you know what would be even better is if you go to a, a, a Charlie Parker solo, if you're transcribing something, or even if you're just looking through like the Charlie Parker Omni book, and see how many examples you can find, or how many instances you can find where he's using this scale. You're gonna find a lot. This is very, very popular in the bebop language. And that's why I wanted to teach it to you guys, because now I think you're really gonna be able to get closer to that sound. If you're really trying to get that bebop sound, this is gonna really get you in the right ballpark. It's just a matter of finding variations and ways of using the scale to, uh, to make a, a nice line. Guys, if you have questions, leave them down below. I'd love to help you out. If you have any comments, please, you can leave those as well. If you haven't subscribed, definitely do that because we got lots of great stuff coming at you. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeff Schneider. I'll see you next time.